Academy of Islamic Propagation. Akadib. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa adawu la sharika la wa ashadu anna muhammadan habduhu wa rasuluhu. We thank Almighty Allah. We glorify Him. We adore Him. Allah, our Lord. Allah, our Creator. Allah, our Provider. Allah, the doer of whatever He wills. Allah, Lord of incomparable majesty and authority. Allah. Vision comprehends him not, but his grab is over every vision. Lord of the worlds, master Jesus, of the day Jesus of judgment, this. uncreated creator. He fashions everything, but he is not fashioned because he is unfashionable. Controller of every affair. Bestower of rational colors. Obata reni fi we ta reni fi jo toju kuri toni boboju. Mori olu. Obata ni kuri le bo. The one that feeds but is unfed. Obata on fun ani jije to mbo wati babe ni kuri le bo. Wow. Idi ni yenta ashi sawi pe taloda bire alau taloda bire. Allah, Ninu Bobo, Awata Wala Ye, Koseda Bire, Allah. I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship other than Allah, the Supreme Being. And I equally testify that Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah, the seal of the Prophet, Khatamin Nabiyin, the likeness of whom that has never walked upon the surface of the heart. A philosopher opines and said, if greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and outstanding results are the three criteria for measuring human genius, human greatness. We may well ask, is there any man greater than Muhammad? <laughs> A philosopher, George Bennett Shaw, he said, I have studied the lives and personage of this wonderful Arabian teacher. In my opinion, Muhammad is far, far, far from being an antichrist. He must be called the savior of humanity. Allah. A non-Muslim said, if any man claimed that he ruled by a right divine, that person, that prophet, must be prophet of Arabia. Encyclopedia Britannica, volume 11, page 27, says, Of all prophets and religious personalities, there has never been anyone that is so much successful other than Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is, quote of non-Muslims on the personality or personage of this wonderful Arabian teacher. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We thank Allah for making us Muslims. After this, Muki, Enyi Baba, Mi Enyi Ya, Mi Tewa, Nikale, Abelon, Nolan, Noa, Noe, Bubonto, Uka, Pada, Sibu, Sore, Da, Laye, Konira, Yelodwe, Nikokanwa. Amina. I first and foremost commend the effort of Nasfat Put Akot Branch. May Almighty Allah continue making every one of us 
more steadfast on this part of Felix City. Amen. My greeting goes to the Executive Council, the Mission Board, Babawa Tiolon Vishi, Chairman Nasfat, Potakotimbi, Alaji Wa Lukman Balogun, Olon Bamishi Dada Fui. Amen. Apara Sibu Ni Debayin. Amen. Moki Mission Awa, Imam Sheikh Abdul Latif Abdul Salam. May Almighty Allah continue to elevate and uplift you. Amen. My greeting is extended as well to the director of program, Alaji Lukman Yusuf Akintoye. May Almighty Allah continue to be with you. Amen. Amen. Ani ma pada sibu, ani ma pada sigba laida. Baba ma ma pada sigba yoma da si yoma da si yoma da si. La haula wala kuwata ila bilai. Mwa kikbogwa wanti wanwa from various towns, ah neighboring towns. Si pota kotimbi, lati asaba, lati bini, awe yawa lati abuja, awe yawa lati ku. Otuweke. Benny, Ushim. Abelo, Nino, Lano, Anwe. May Almighty Allah, in His trusted blessing, grant us journey messages back to our various destinations. Amen. La haula, wala kuwata, ila bilai. Benny, Muki Bukbawata, Ajode, Ti, Anje Memba, Academy of Islamic Propagation. Kolo ma afisho e so waka akiri. Amen. Now, the theme or topic of this lecture is was Prophet Isa or Jesus Christ in quotes killed or crucified. In Jaka Jesuma, I believe Allah Akbar. Some people believe. That through a man, the original sin came into this world. Meaning, every one of us on the surface of the earth inherited the original sin from our father, Prophet Hadam Ali Salatu Wasalam. Now, my question is this How thinkable, how rational? Is this belief? We Muslim, we have no problem at all in believing that Jesus Christ was neither killed nor crucified. Many over two thousand years ago, Jesus Christ came into this world as a mighty messenger of God. He was one of the greatest prophets of Allah. We Muslims believe that. There is no doubt about that. Every Muslim is bound to believe that Jesus Christ was a messenger of Allah. No problem about that. But our belief that he was killed for the remission of sin, no, we do not believe that. Why? Quran said so. And incidentally, there are so many evidences in the Bible as well pointing to the fact that this prophet of God was neither killed nor crucified. Now, where are my evidences? We have overwhelming evidences in the light of al Quran and in the light of the Bible. The Christians, they made us to believe that all have sinned. The book of Romans chapter 3 verse 23. And all have sinned. The Bible says all have sinned. Come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. My question is this. How tenable is this fact? Now, was Christ crucified? Obako Loremo. Obako Loremo. Eje Jesus, Oma Mary, 
Oba kolo re mu Iwo loku ke mi leye Iwo lo jiya ni tori ese mi Pasan lorun re o o ma ni ye o o se o Jesus o se o Eh eh iya se to ba je gbogbo re lo ti ku lo Jesu Oluwa o ma se o tori re lo se jiya Jesus Christ was crucified. Benny. Allah says in the glorious Quran, that is the summary of the lecture. In Quran chapter 4, Verse 157. Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, Allah Allah says they are saying in boast that surely we killed Jesus Christ, son of Mary, a prophet of God. Allah says he was not killed and he was never crucified. Allah says, but only a likeness of that was shown unto them. Those people that doctors matters relating to Jesus' crucifixion, they have certain, no certain knowledge. They are conjecturers. Allah says, nay, he was not killed nor crucified. Jesus Christ was raised up. He was taken up. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Now, we are going to explain we are going to establish and you are going to be convinced that he was not killed now crucified if the, we if we the perish say god raised jesus from dead in in the book of first corinthians chapter 15 verse 6 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 the bible says please use pigeon bible now we have so many verses of the bible we have the English version. Present. We have Pigeon version. Present. Now, please use Pigeon Bible. Now. The Bible says, now. If we the perish, say God raised Jesus from dead. Uh -huh. What it makes some of us say resurrection no day? The silver your man, yeah? If resurrection no day. Uh -huh. That means say Christ no raised from grave. Can you see, Emma Go? If truly there is nothing like resurrection. The Bible says definitely Jesus Christ was never raised. And if Christ no raised up, Bible now said it. Then uh -huh. our preaching and una faith no mean anything. If resurrection no day, that means say uh, definitely everything where would they talk about God? Uh -huh. Na lie. <laughs> Because, because we say he raised Jesus from dead. We are claiming that he was raised from the dead. When he know this sound. When he know this sound. <laughs> if resurrection no day. Uh -huh. Now if he say Christ no raised up from dead. The Bible now says definitely if there is nothing like resurrection. And in Baba, me Yami, let us ask a question. It is the Bible that says in the book of Hebrew chapter 9 verse 27. The Bible says it is appointed for men to die once. As After that, yeah. judgment. Even the book of Job, the Be Bible says, the Bible says, Behold, Be our summer shame pare, Tosin Folo, Tosin Folo, Anybody in a position of death, anybody that is interred, anybody that is put into the grave, that person will never come over the heart again. If God no raise Christ this is from the grave, in the Bible. The Bible now says, If truly God does not raise the dead, then definitely faith useless oh can you see 
that is contained in the Bible. Aja ke bogo wa su wa vein. And we are still there inside our sin. And we are still there inside our sin. And those who believe Christ, those who believe Christ before them. The died. Bible now says those people that believe that Jesus Christ died for them. Don't lose me that oh. Atekbir. Akbar. It is a serious matter. Whether we like it or not, whether we believe or not, some people will enter hellfire. Why some will be admitted to paradise? It is a decree of Allah. It is the destiny of Allah. Allah created the paradise and he created hellfire. Some people will be candidates of hell. Why some people will be made to enter paradise? Allah says in the glorious Quran, whoever does any other religion other than Islam, whoever does any other religion other than Islam, can you see it shall never be accepted of him or her on the day of accountability, on the day of judgment, on the day of, of, of recompense, the day of utter commotion, the day of igli-dipigli-di, that person will be among the losers. We thank Almighty Allah for making us Muslims. And that is where Allah says, Do not die unless you are a Muslim. Oh, you who believe, fear Allah as it should be feared. And die not unless in the state of Islam. Now, was Jesus Christ crucified? The Bible says God gave a commandment to Prophet Adam. That was the first man. God now gave him in the instruction. This is contained in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 16. It is also in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Because of time, Prophet Adam, he was given an instruction. He was given a commandment that you are free to eat any of the fruit of this garden. But, this particular tree, do not come here. This particular tree, do not go near this tree. Uh -huh. Because God says, that day you take from this tree, that day you shall die. That is the commandment. That is the instruction. That is the warning. Unfortunately, the Bible made us to believe that after some times, Prophet Adam and his wife, they were they were hoodwinked, they were beguiled, they were tricked into eating the fruits. Because of time, I am summarizing it. Afterwards, the serpent gave them very strong assurance that Prophet Adam, you are not going to die. You are definitely not going to die. Once if you go you and eventually, God now decided to come down to the heart. Adam and Eve, both of them, they sinned against God. God the Bible now says God now came down. Along with being weepy and immediately to joy so. In the cool of the day, Adam please, I want you to listen attentively. This is the genesis of the original sin. The original sin, the Christian made us to believe that when he inherited, and through inheriting this sin, we can only be cleansed by the death, the blood of Jesus Christ, or by the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Now, the Bible now says, God now came down from heaven. He pressed down the sky, Ika. came down, that is contained in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 to 7. And started walking in the garden. Ika. Bamika ni Yoruba. Ni Turojo. Olu alon si sokale. Bibeli ni alon sokale. God came down. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Both of them went to hide for his majesty. 
for the creator of, of the world. The Bible now says, God now over a fixing sound. Adam started looking for Adam and Eve. Adam. 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 Basu basu. We are like you. This is contained in the Bible. Allah Akbar. Adam as you Adam now said, Oh my Lord, I became frightened. I was perplexed when I saw you coming from heaven. Adam now said, God, I ran away from you because myself and my wife, both of us, we were naked. And he said, Who told you that you are naked? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. The Bible says, God now says, Ah, ah, ah. I feel eating from the fruit of the tree that I commanded you never to approach. Adam now said, Honestly speaking, that is why I ask a Christian, my dear brother, Ninu Islam. Islam is the only religion on earth today. To value obere to po. To po ju. There are so many places in the Bible. To po no bibeli. To je ke bibeli o relegate obere. Awa ni ama bini kan. In the book of Solomon, Song of Solomon chapter 8 verse 8, the Bible says we have a a a a girl. Shuma. Uh-huh. Oh, serious of lacking. Oh, serious. No, we like I know I will. Please don't read that, please. Maka, Maka, Maka. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we have so many ill befitting attributes of God in the Bible. We Muslim, sir, Kimwa Kajade, in the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 8. Verse 8. I we have a girl. Shuma. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you're a car. Oh, go near Ah. This is contained in the acclaimed book of God. Jam question. Hey, Muslim, you haven't to before long. You can never find anything of such in the Quran. Al Quran and the Arabia. Topic it on the way is Quran, the word of God is Bible, the word of God. The topic is was Christ crucified. I am only digressing. Finally, God now came down, started raining curses upon Adam and Eve. This is their sin. Once he does, they disobeyed Almighty God. But we Muslim, Islamically, the Islamic belief is truly Adam and Eve, both of them sinned against God. Both of them asked for God forgiveness and both of them were forgiven. This is rational. This is straightforward. But the Christians know, say no. They were not forgiven. Even the Christians made us to believe that Adam and Eve even never asked for forgiveness. That is why they say sin came to this world through a man. And that is why the Bible concluded that all have sinned in Romans 3.23 and come short of the glory of God. Now, the question now is, what are we going to do? What is our responsibility for God to cleanse off of, of this original sin. Now, the Bible asks the answer. In the book of Hebrew, the Bible says it is not possible for the blood of an animal. They cannot cleanse away the sins, the original sin we inherited. Uh -huh. Hebrew chapter 9. Verse 28. The Bible now says, Jesus Christ, this is Hebrew chapter 10, Abi. Verse 4. Jesus Christ, now that he has been made as a sacrificial lamb, 
e ma wo jesus christi pelu leyin ti a ti fi rubo lati se kini lati ru lati ru ese opolopo to carry away the sins of the world elebo look at that statement in the bible hebrew chapter 10 verse 4 eyin ya mi eyin baba mi please am i communicating at all we thank almighty allah for making this lecture possible today ati se awon lectures ka akiri ni nasfat nigba ti mo wa loke mo nko yi awon nasfat program start ise we have been to abuja we have been to headquarters in ikeja lagos we have been to akure ibadan o ndo ife owo ikare ikire gbangan ilobo osogbo ikirin ire inisa moda keke ilorin lagos land ede ilesha garage olode ilaode o mo ofa now o ti wa notan pe we have been to naxfat put a court branch and inshallah in less than 3 months we will be in one of the branches in one of the naxfat branches at the united kingdom olorun wa ni fi ile isi ase mo fun wa la hawla wala quwata illa billahi this is a very very good topic in the lives of the muslims and the christians i'm quite aware that we have some christians outside they informed us that at the end of the day they are going to ask questions are they going to be permitted in the book of john chapter 11 verse 50 benny the bible says behold uh -huh. it is expedient that a man should be killed so that everybody will not perish that is the christian belief that it is expedient it is compulsory it is mandatory that someone must be killed so that every one of us will not perish how rational is this who is that person that is going to be made a sacrificial lamb under normal circumstance, oh yeah, can we all make it? Tabi omi isukan, tabi togi kan, kawa pa kowa ba kwe selo. Beni abi beko. If this was the wish of God, unfortunately today, the Christian said, a prophet of God, Jesus Christ, one of the mighty miracle workers was made a sacrificial lamb but we muslim we do not believe why in the book of deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 23 the bible says can you see a cursed person any go along on le bakan ma gbelebu o ni eni ti a bakan ma agbelebu eni ti a bakan ma agbelebu that person is a cause of god e ma de o that person is a cause of god that is what the bible says deuteronomy 21 verse 23 the big question is was jesus christ a cause of god my people in je ni egun olorun ni jesus but the Bible said, that person is a cause of God. That is number one. Now, the Bible made us to believe that Jesus Christ was arrested. When Jesus Christ got the wind of this arrest, alleged arrest, Jesus Christ started preparing spiritually, physically against this attack. Mm -hmm. In the book of Luke, chapter 22, Verse 36. The Bible says, Jesus Christ was commanding his disciple. I sent you an herant. Do you lack anything? They said, uh -huh. Then Jesus said unto them, Ati Apo, 
ati pata ati enti ko ba si ida eni ti o ba ni ida eni ti o ba ni ida those people without sword ki o ta so re eh eh ki o si fi ra okan e ba n gbe ti to be follow this is what is called physical preparation commanding his disciple that oh you my disciple go and get swords in potakot in river state what are they using swords for what is the purpose of a sword let them use them the peel orange kinam fi da se won na fi mu eko won fi njewa jesus commanded his disciples to look for sword sword e ba mi pari wo sword sword a sword a christian said this is what is called spiritual sword i said oh my god this is spiritual sword o si wi fun wa wi pe in the book of ezekiel 21 the bible says a sword it is sharp a sword is sharpened polished and polished to flash like to flash like lightning to be put in the hands of a killer to be put in the hands of a killer to be put in the hands of a killer and that is spiritual sword the book of matthew chapter 26 verse 52 By the time they wanted to arrest Jesus Christ, the Bible says one of Jesus disciples took out his sword. Ofige awon ti won fe mu Jesus, ofige won ni eti sonu and that is spiritual sword. Ofige won ni eti sonu and that is spiritual sword. Now this is what is called physical preparation. All these are pointing towards the fact Jesus Christ never prepared for the crucifixion. He did not want to die. But the Christian made us to believe that Jesus Christ was killed. Wallahi, Allah ma shi wa lona. Amen. And that is why we quoted 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 12 to 18, where the Bible says, if truly Jesus Christ was not killed nor crucified definitely we are still in our sins and the bible now says for those that have died in the lord i want you want you kula ya jesus they of all men they are pitiable they so, are perished so from that day bibeli lo so 